Hello again, everybody. Today I'm going to play the other five more levels from Trollface. I played the uh, the five here below on my last video, and I'm going to go ahead and continue on this. And uh, that will after I complete these, then I will have completed all the levels that uh, Trollface has shared currently. So. All right, this one is stop the car. Oh, okay. So, so you gotta figure out how fast this guy is going. All right, so I got a good speed here. Um, all right. So I say a uh, good thing to see how well that works. <laughs> Not very well on this map, I guess. Almost. Alright, so I think they want me to build something in the middle. Um, I don't know if I really care to do what they want me to do or not, but I guess I can humor the idea a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I feel like you could. This is a type of level that you could be in by. You could find a one piece solution. Um, if you just look hard enough, this is kind of proof that the cable doesn't have any weight. If the cable had weight, it would sag down and pull the road over. Whoa, that was fun. I like this last flip spot here. It had that cool flip thing. Whee! Let's put another piece on top. Ah, that was really close. So this level, or at least the way I'm playing, it's just a just a tweak until you win type of thing, which I haven't won yet. So that's gonna win. So um, don't really think there's much replayability in that type of thing. Um, I mean, other than just trying to get a cheaper and cheaper solution by doing stuff like that. But that's alright, we've got four more. Okay, so uh, I just wait to stop the cars, do highway crossing. This one's hard, supposedly. And there's a lot of cars here. Okay, so it looks like um, I'm guessing everything, I guess, goes straight across. Oh, B goes down in the middle here. So I've got some different phases here. Um, I guess we have maybe some hydraulics. Yeah. This is the first level I've seen, kind of like this from a troll phase here. So it's kind of, kind of exciting, I guess, to have, hopefully my budget, not just five wood, unlimited steel, Two hydraulics and unlimited cable. Wow, alright. I don't know why. What's the point of limiting you to five wood? I, I don't get that. So, 
So, cool thing with doing this thing is, uh, it's, it looks really secure, but, like, it's, it can be all, like, everything can, like, flex up all at the same time. Um, let's see if it does it. It will probably just break, but, yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit. Um, alright, see if I can slow this down. So you can see how like you kind of get a wavy pattern that will start to appear. Like these go up and as these flex. You see, really see it over here. It's very interesting. And then basically one steel rod prevents the whole thing from doing that. Or one rod, uh, like from top to bottom. Or just securing any other place, I guess. So, okay, can I move this aside? Yep. Well, actually, always can um, when I'm on grid, anyways. A um, while back, there was a thread that essentially, uh, you know, I guess you could say it petitioned the developers to allow. It used to be that a single rod here would go straight, and you couldn't move it sideways at all when on grid on the maximum length. And then he, there was a whole bunch of math involved, and. He's demonstrating how this is um, allowing it to move over one square from here allowed you to t make this one click higher, which made this more legal an equilateral triangle than it was before. Um, developers like the idea, and it also made things really nice because you can connect pieces. Like, well, if I had more wood, I could connect that. And then you can actually adjust the tops a little bit. Um, made the whole thing a lot more friendly to play. So, um, oh, so you got a little bit of the flexing here, as you can tell. Um, and the road piece block stops at the end. So I'm gonna put this right there, and it should stop it for the most part. And this truck is really like. It's falling onto the road, so they, they really didn't size the uh, platform correctly, it looks like. I guess I should speed this up. Um, okay. Alright, so now it's the basic road. Um, now I need to get B down to the lowest platform. Hmm. I am going to do something kind of fun. Don't I always? Alright, so I'm going to make this a pivot point. I'm going to pivot three roads on that spot right there. Um, so I'm going to have to work really hard to secure this. I think I'm going to need more than that. Let's put a cable in here. And then I need to make a basically a little. I'm going to make this a little taller. I need to secure all these pieces together so they don't bend. Although I might want it to bend a little bit, but um, if it's sturdy enough, it will will be alright, I guess. Um, actually, well, no, it won't work. Uh, I was thinking that what you can do sometimes is you can put like a cable piece on the end. If you imagine this whole piece rotating clockwise, um, once this piece here hits the ground, then this cable could flex and it would make it less likely to break your bridge, but roads will travel through roads and this won't hit a ground so you're going to be stuck with whatever angle you have there so you just kind of have to make it work um, going to put this here then I'm going to make a piece go like that or so and then here and then cable I think I'm going to need to secure some more oh and I need to adjust these so 
Alright. Nope. That was actually correct. How did that happen? Alright, I don't think this will hold up. But we will see. And that breaks. And that goes way too far. Alright, I should have known that. Um, going to just place it here instead. I might just have a... Yeah, it goes a bit too far, but I can adjust. Actually, I'm going to... Oh, no, undo, undo. Or I just... I mean, redo. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to 45. And what is breaking over here? Just like a random lower piece? I didn't do it that time. Alright, so I need to have... Kind of surprised it didn't break. Do a little bit of this thing going on. And put the cable here in the middle. Alright. Uh, I like levels like this. These are fun. Okay. That's pretty good. Now this is a really harsh landing, so that might break the bridge. But I'm lucky because it's a light car and did not break the bridge. If it did break the bridge, if it's a heavier car, I'd probably replace this piece right out here with a hydraulic and try to give it a and try to gradually change the angle as it ran into the road. Uh, let me just play again. Let's, let's make a nice little replay of this. Um, okay. Another thing you could do, um, it would cost more money if you were having trouble f with the whole bridge breaking, is I can move this rotational piece to the middle. Um, that would allow me to support it easier um, off this middle middle pillar, but then of course I have to continue this top layer road all the way over to it. So there's just some different options. There's a lot of different ways you could solve this. So. Um, this is what first came to my mind. Alright. So, that was a good level. That was probably my favorite level I've played of, of Troll Faces there, so. Let's do double split. This is a medium hard. And I have no idea what's going on with these flags. <laughs> wow, do we all go right to left? Uh, A1 and A2 go here. The B's go there. C's go here. E and so these top, these two go to these two places. Are these all fast as sin? Um, there's hydraulic phases, uh, sports cars, hydraulic phase, sports cars, hydraulic phase. So there's four hydraulic phases. So, hmm. Well, I guess I'll just start building stuff. Is this the type of thing it's easier just to see how things work once you start going? Um, let me see if I get a little off, but it's fine. Alright, so I've got a pretty substantial budget and a bunch more road. Um, I'm going to start off with a flat road, and I'm going to attach them on the bottom here. That's going to give me more building space up top. And steel road might be nice if I have to build up a structure on top of this. Um, I might not need to. It might just be a big waste of money. but. Arc it up, make it a little bit of an arc. And let's do the same thing over here. Okay, so let's go like. This. Okay.
Now, of course, my first phase needs to get up to this top section here. So this won't work because these two have to get to the spots. So uh, one thing we might have an issue with is, so I'm going to, I have a limited road, but still got quite a bit left. So I'm going to make a little bit of a, kind of a little bit of a space here for the cars to stay parked at. Because I don't want to do uh, all right. I don't want to get in the way of B. That I don't know if that one's needed or not. We'll find out. So, so that case, I'm going to have a road that goes kind of like this. Um, okay, go make this a split joint. We're going to have part that lifts be number two, because that needs to separate from the wall. And then this just needs to lift basically any amount. Um, so these first ones will go up, and then B, I think, is the next two. And so I need to make this go a little bit longer. Um, then B will go right under that. And then I'll figure out what I want to do from there. Um, I feel like I need to play this level at a quicker speed. <laughs> Alright, so that's kind of a nice flat space there too. So, Alright, so now I need the D's. Or wait, C is the next car, which is going to be here and it needs to go to this spot. So, um, at this point, um, let me make sure. I think the, there's the hydraulic is going to return it to the original position. And then C goes. So either A has to travel through that position, which is probably the best way to do that. So I'm going to take all my cool little hydraulic thing here. I'm going to have to build the whole thing over further. Only if I knew how to plan ahead, right? Okay, so let's go... Um, two, three... Um, Alright, that's not attached, but that's fine. Uh, as long as it's not breaking when it t when it hits the road, then I won't need to attach it. Um, if it's breaking a lot, like when the car hits goes off of this road onto this road, then making this into a split joint will really help um, reduce the amount of breakage that might occur. So, whoa, must have just braked at the last second. All right. And it looks like these last two, I can just build a bridge that kind of goes and loops these up. Um, so D goes and then E. So um, I need to find out if when D goes, is it in the original position or the alternative position? Since all your hydraulics basically toggle, you're, um, with the exception of dropping off pieces, you can only have two positions of your road. So it looks like it's in the alternative position when D goes, which means that this road, when it starts, need to go needs to point towards E. And I am now over budget, so I need to. There's a lot, a lot of place that I can save money at, so I will have to do that. And E can just ramp off. D can too, really. Um, um, I think I have some wood here, don't I? So I can probably have to start using some wood. I'm out of steel, so I definitely need to use some of this wood. Um, can I? 
cannot make that fit. Let's go in here, maybe. Um, okay. Let's make all this wood fit wherever it does. Um, how about over here? I can probably replace a lot of wood. Okay. I might have to try this little suspension-y thing that this guy likes to do in order to make this work. This is the type of level I feel like these restrictions are kind of silly at, um, to have a steel restriction. Um, so... Well, I guess I'm going to make this go to this point after all. Alright, so that's good. Alright, so let's put the suspension here. And let's try to make this symmetrical. I can't make that one go any... Well, I guess that's right. Um, just go here. Hmm. Does that work? Whoa! <laughs> Need to actually worry about some of those things. Um, so let's make... I need to put this support on the bottom. Um, Alright, let's see how this works. Oh my, I need to adjust my split joint. Or create a split joint, first off. And I, then I need to drop off a lot of money off my budget. Okay. Oh, I guess I should wait to see if this actually solves first. I'm not sure if I care about the breaking thing at this point. Um, since I do have 10,000 to take off my budget, how well does this bridge support itself without that entire understructure? Alright, that was easy to take off the budget, so <laughs> maybe I'll make sure it works after all. So let's try to put some pieces on the end of this and see if I can just kind of make it not fall off. Um, I think this should have, be able to hold this up really well. And as long as it doesn't break this ramp here, then I think it should be. I think we're going to be good. Whoa. Okay, just might need to push that last one a little bit. Oh, you can't do it. All right. How about now? I could probably... I guess I can put my wood back on my suspension piece there to make it less wobbly. There we go. Alright, so let's place my wood here because no one likes to drive on a wobbly bridge. Alright. 
That's much better. So I'm gonna. Don't know if I can make all this one GIF or not. I'm gonna move it. There's almost too many phases to make it all work. All right. Share replay. What should I get? Uh, looks like I missed like the first part. You kind of get the idea, though. The replay only saves up to 10 seconds. So in order to increase the amount of... Uh, if you increase your speed, you can get fit more within that 10 seconds. Um, if you need to see stuff before that, then you have to stop it. You have to click the instant replay, like right here. Now my, I have this first part. And if I was really super dedicated, I could save this GIF and I could clip them together in like a image or GIF editing software. But I've never been that dedicated, <laughs> at least towards that. Um, so, alright, well this is the double split. How long have I been playing this now? A little while now. So, um, and I've got two more levels. Multi-cross hard. So this is kind of another level that does something funky, but it's a lot smaller bridge. So A goes across straight, A2 goes across, B goes down, and then C goes down. Um, hydraulic, we'll bug hydraulic. Okay, so kind of the same deal here. Gonna have some uneven roads again. My favorite. So, all right, let's let's just make some crazy steelness here. Uh, unless I am budget constrained, 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 I can't speak. Then I'm just gonna accept this. All right, that looks a lot better too. All right, so. All right, so I think a, a hydraulic phase happens first, right? Yep, after those. So the first level needs to be up in the air. I guess they both do. Oh, okay. Because it's just the, there's two hydraulic phases. All right, we'll make it work. It won't be too bad. Um, yeah, I'll figure it out when I get there. All right, so I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna make this straight, and then a little bit of a curve at the end. Okay, and then put a little piece here. Okay, supporting this towards the end, and basically anywhere in these four nodes is gonna greatly increase your your chances of cars not breaking. If you support it back here on these two, then you're gonna have a lot of wobbly space there. That, And then if I, of course, if I go here, I have to attach it way down, which I wear somewhere I can't reach. So uh, that will work. I don't like that. That's too, this looks like a good position here, so. When that goes to about 50%, then and I, I, I'm thinking it will need to be a little less than that. So like 45, let's try that. 2D mode is the best. Be kind of cool if there was a 2D button. So it kind of goes too far still. Um, it works though. Um, so let's take it at 40. So then what I have to do is figure out after the next hydraulic phase, how is this car going to get across? Because if it starts in this position, unless it just doesn't break it, um, the A would be in the way. So like if I do, if I have something like this that lifts, then A is going to be in the way when it starts out. So. 
Um, I'm thinking. I was thinking of some kind of trapdoor thing, but let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to make some sort of trapdoor, and then I'm gonna try to have the. Um, I'm gonna try to get. the lowering of this bridge to raise the other one. So, to make a little trap door, you've got this thing attached with essentially a cable. I don't have a cable, so I'm going to use two pieces here. Like so. This car should be able to get through. It needs This needs to be up a little more. And ideally that should not break anything and, and it's breaking here can I just if I do this will it stop it from breaking yes or at least initially so it's gonna go let's try to do two like that see if that supports it <laughs> it's just determined to break all right, let's gonna try this thing. Do I have wood? Oh wait, no. Yeah. All right, so now I need to get this piece. That kind of goes way too hard. I think that's an issue. Um, I think if it hits it a little softer, it won't go up as much. Uh, no, why did you do that? All right, so I don't know if that's uh, it's just gonna hmm. Okay, so, let's see, well, it's pretty much uh, just going to always keep breaking that deal as long as it's colliding in that position. Um, so I can, I need to, I guess I need to move everything back a little bit. So it it's at a different spot. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, it didn't back to the original problem, but I removed these, thinking that me changing it would make them no longer necessary. I think I need to do this one as well. Alright, let's see how this goes. Yay! Alright. So now, um, I'm halfway there. <laughs> Alright, so now the tricky part. I need something that's going to lift this piece when this other piece here lowers. <sighs> Cannot create more steel. You disappoint me. Silly game. I guess I need to be able to figure out how to get these pieces out. <sighs> Alright, well, um, maybe a piece here. Alright, that works. Um, does that mean I don't need this? Okay, cool. So, Back to where I was. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, to here, 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 and then 
something kind of like this. Alright. Um, this one's going to go down. This one should go. I might have to, I'm going to have to adjust the length of these arms. So, this bridge comes down. And when it does, it will... Oh, I have an issue here. I've now made this solid. Anyways, but once this goes down, it's going to push this section, which is going to rotate around here, and then essentially push this other bridge up. Um, and the reason I wanted to do this instead of hydraulic is because I wanted to have this set to where it could... I needed to be... I needed it to be flimsy, I guess. Which, right now, it's not. Um, so right now, if I run it, this car is just going to crash into this thing. And that's not good. Um, so I need to... Okay. I feel like I need to make it pull instead of push. I've got ten pieces. Don't know if I can do it in that. Three, four. Okay. Pull and two here. Let's see about that. Nope. Need to kind of adjust that so it's not so crazy. And I probably don't need this anymore. There we go. Oops, and that of course breaks this thing. Um, maybe if I have this attached to here, and let's try getting rid of this. See if that works. Whoa, I don't know. I might not. Hey, it works. Okay. Oh, so. Alright. I need to adjust this one way or the other, so I think I need to move it inwards more. That, that makes this piece too short. Can I attach it here? I think this needs to be longer, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, that needs to be longer. So this part will go down and reach further, and then also this being pulled further will move this up less, which I don't need to go up as much as it was going. Alright, I really like this bridge. Okay, so let's uh, make, make sure I have uh, get a cool replay of this. I might even save this one. I like building stuff like this. Um, see here, see share. Okay, save that. Okay, and then let's do save. Just let us use the default. Um, this puts a date. So the essentially, I like to do this to redirect forces a lot. You p build a pivot, and you kind of build like a little triangle, or this little. It's not really a diamond, but it's one of these some kind of piece that allows you to move the two ends in opposite directions. Um, it can be very useful. It's, rather difficult to figure out how to get them to work right, but once you do, it can do pretty good things. I have no idea if the creator was doing something like this or something completely different. Um, it'd be interesting to see other people's uh, solutions to this level. I'm sure if I thought around a bit, I could come up with something different, I would think. But that's, this is what came to me first. So I don't did I don't even remember if I have another level. Multi cross let's see here. Workshop. Um oh, I have triple dangle. Um so this is a hard level. 
and oh my god what the hell this just this kind of looks stupid <laughs> oh jeez I hmm well then um, there's no no hydraulics it's just all these cars that just go across and I guess each section is just gonna fall down because these cars they're non-state they like can't they're non-mobile objects before they get um before their phase begins so they will just hover there until they start and then once they do that they'll just fall down and you start that level I guess some point I need to make this go up a little bit more. Um, okay. Make this adjust this a little bit so it's not as I This is a terrible map. <laughs> uh if I wasn't so committed already, I, there's no way I would play this, and I have to use, like, all wood. Alright. Thirty-seven k is kind of a small budget, but I mean... What... All cable and suspension? You know, you could build the same map without all the stupid cars. I mean, nothing else changes. I'm, I'm gonna get this part in first, so... All these cables here, I guess. I guess I just build the cables up to each of these points. I know I've invited Trollface to watch these videos, and uh, I hope you uh, accept my uh, my distaste towards some of your levels as a as a critique that you could use to improve upon your levels if you value my opinion. That is, instead of as insults, because I really don't mean them that way. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, very critical and all this stuff, so, um, I'm just gonna do this little thing here that he likes to do. Oh, I'm over budget. <laughs> wow, alright, um, okay, so, I'm, I'm just gonna do this guy and and then I'm gonna fix my budget. Oh, I froze. Stress on, stress off. Alright, cool. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to use the steel for. I mean, so I've got one wood piece left, anyways. Um, This is your way to save money on cables. It's less sturdy, but it works. So, kind of. <clears throat> this uh, anchor point right at this top point here is a little too low, and that's why everything's hitting this nasty bump when it gets to the top. Well, actually, I think it's too far back now that I'm watching it. So it looks like it's... Uh, okay. So, yeah, it's too far back. So it allows it to move a little bit. Um, 
so maybe if I do something like that, it won't, won't allow to move as much. Um, okay, hopefully that doesn't break. I think the van is probably the heaviest piece, heaviest one on here. See, this is the type of thing I feel like just, I'd rather you just send a bus across and then one time and then just nothing else moves in this level. So there's really no reason to have all these extra cars. I mean, unless, unless your player is just amused by, wow, there's a lot of cars here, which I guess you could say my surprise is amusement. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you watch the next one.